Hey everyone, Multiplayer XD here. Today, we are going to be taking a look at one of my personal favorite video games, Call of Duty World War II. Call of Duty World War II is a first person shooter based on the events of the great conflict between the Axis and the Allies. While the game has a very long storyline, better known as the campaign, it is entertaining to play nevertheless. The campaign throws you into battle with the first platoon, fighting their way up the beaches at Normandy and all the way to crossing the bridge over the Rhine. I really enjoyed the storyline as it got me familiar with the weapons used in that time period and it showcased which guns are better for accuracy and damage. The single player mode is great for practice and learning how to play the game overall. But where the game really shines is in its multiplayer modes. Multiplayer takes up a big part of the game and makes it even more thrilling to play. There are so many modes to choose from, like Team Deathmatch, Catch the Flag, and War, which are all very exciting modes. In Team Deathmatch, you have 12 players, a 6v6 Team Deathmatch, where the overall objective is to destroy the opposing team in the allotted time period, or 100 kills, whichever comes first. In Catch the Flag, the goal is to take the other team's flag and get it back to your base after a total amount of captures without being killed. And War, my personal favorite. While the game is loading, you're given a set of objectives on the screen that need to be carried out in order to win the game. When the game is done loading, you get the cool intro scenes that appear and will differ depending on what map you're currently on. And finally, when you carry out those objectives to cripple the enemy, you win the game. But that's not it. There's also the mini games like Dogfight, Prop Hunt, and Sandbox that are just as addicting to play. In Dogfight, you get to fly an airplane, which doesn't happen often during regular gameplay. Then there's Prop Hunt, a great game of cat and mouse. The enemy is simply trying to find you and shoot to kill. If you're the last prop standing, you win and Sandbox, a combat-based capture the flag. There's more combat in this minigame mode than Team Deathmatch. You're still in a team setting, but you have more freedom to go off on your own to fight in this mode, rather than always needing a buddy to go clear a room. While there's so many things that make this game fun to play, one of the best features, in my opinion, is the player hub, or sometimes called the headquarters. Here you can customize your weapons, loadout, and your character. There's a shooting range, a store to buy or unlock different customizations, daily challenges or orders, a 1v1 pit, a training area, and a gunsmith where you can put unique designs on your weapons, just like the side of mine. There's even a random activity where enemy planes fly over the base and you have to jump on an AA gun and blow them out of the sky. With so much to do in this game, I can play for hours. Call of Duty World War II. It's easy to play, it's action packed, and there's never a dull moment. You're always under fire and in the heat of battle. Reloading your weapons takes the least amount of time versus any other first person shooter that I've played. The amount of detail in the game, from the grenades and the guns, to the highly detailed tracers from the bullets that make you feel like you're actually in the middle of battle. This game is one of my personal favorites, and I know for a fact that you won't be disappointed by this entry into the Call of Duty franchise. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss one of my videos. Make sure you check out my website, MultiplayerXD.com. And follow me on Twitter at MPXDGaber to up your game. I'm MultiplayerXD. We'll see you on the next one.